Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Sailing Rampage. Uh, this video again was, much like last video, recorded pretty much a year ago. Uh, this would also be mid to late June, uh, probably like a week after after the last video. Uh, this video, I go out from 9am to 9pm, and I will bring you along for my adventure for most of it. Um, I may insert another video of me talking to you at the end not quite sure yet so uh yeah enjoy the 12 hour expedition on buckeye lake Ooh, so lean sif's having a great time Sif, hi. Having fun? Yeah, she's having fun. All right, first solo sail. Sailing with just the main up right now. Doing maybe two knots, not terribly fast, but also not too terribly slow either. So, yeah. So, I mean, other than trying to get the main all the way up was a little bit tiring. And I need, I need to tighten up the clue right there. So I don't get a little, I don't get all that bunching up right there. But yeah, other than that, doing great. Um, the air tastes kind of funny, but you know that's just being on a lake and yeah, with the Canada fires. But you know whatever. So yeah, I think I'm going to uh, tighten the clue up, see if I can get the mainsail to be a little more efficient, and then uh, I'm going to put up the uh, jib and cruise around for a little bit. Maybe offer some rides to a couple people that I know wanted to hop on. So yeah, I think that's it. Although I did uh, I did break one of the little nylon slides on the mat. But, and I already had to replace one because it was already broken, but we have extras on board. So if I decide I want to do that, I can. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much it for now. I will uh, catch you guys in a minute. All right, welcome back. Uh, I have made it to, on the other side of the no-wig zone by Cranberry Bog over here. Uh, fastest I think I've ever made it through the no-wig zone, and that's saying something because most of the time I'm on a powerboat. Um, right now I'm doing the one sail on each side going straight downwind. It's actually working pretty well. I might loosen this a little bit. <coughs> working pretty well. I got a uh, little tiller lock mechanism kind of rigged up it's not perfect but it's not terrible either uh, I can kind of just nudge it it'll go off course a little bit but it's not terrible uh, so yeah just cruising and it looks it looks sweet behind me I'm gonna be honest in front of me is nice but watching looking at where I've been so far is kind of cool too uh, so yeah really chill day I'm gonna be honest it is not bad at all um, yeah, I know the neon green rope's not the best, but it's okay. So yeah, cruising. I'm also really enjoying being able to kind of let the sailboat do its thing and like walk up front, just kind of enjoy the view. The whole whole boat behind me, let it do its thing. A couple of fishing boats, a few pontoons. Most of them are honestly on the other side. Uh, yeah, this is great, guys. This is freaking awesome. Whoop, almost fell in. That would have been bad. <laughs> I think I'm gonna tie up my lifeline right now. So it's probably been about, it is noon now. I think we launched around nine, so about three hours. So far, not terrible. Um, there are a few things that I noticed that I need. I need to redo this, because this tiller lock is getting broken and I need a new one. Um, I'm going to need to get some new pulleys up front where the uh, jib attaches because I'm having a lot of problems with it getting caught. Um, so I'm gonna need to do figure something out for that. And uh, I mean, other than that, I, this is going great. Oh, uh, clue, <laughs> I need a clue pulley because uh, it is not doing its thing right now. It's kind of just dangling there. So I could be getting a whole lot more efficiency out of this thing if I had that attached properly. But 
it is what it is. So, for the time being, yeah. I may be going out to pick up my dad again. Um, at some point, he's going to the DMV because he's going to get the, um, he's gonna go give the, pe the people at the DMV the weight of the trailer without the boat. Perfect opportunity to do it since I've got the boat. Uh, so yeah, he might come back out and you might see the dog, so yeah. Um, this is a great second trip out. And this is the first time going solo. Last time I had me, my mom, my dad, Siv, and Chris. So we had the whole family out, plus, you know, Chris. But he's family enough. Totally calm. There are a few boats out, but I mean, other than that, it's totally calm. It is a beautiful day for sailing. So it's about 1.16 now. Been out here for about four hours. A um, couple of points were kind of rough. Um, really fun though, uh, getting up and leaning at like a 45 degree angle. That was whack. Uh, almost hit a boat, but I didn't hit a boat. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah. And I made it all the way down to Papa Boo's and back up to North Shore. And I'm kind of hanging around here for another 45 minutes. Probably going to try to make it up the west a little further. Because I can I can go east a lot faster. It's an eastern wind, so... Or, yeah, no, it's a western wind, so... I can get to the east side of the lake a heck of a lot faster. So, uh, yeah. Having a grand old time. I could do this for hours, man. This is awesome. I want to get something that, like an auto tiller mechanism or something to uh, keep it going straight so I can just kind of enjoy it. But it's almost not even like a necessary on this lake because it's so small. Because once you get it set and go in the direction you want it to go, you're going to have to turn again. So, uh, Speaking of which, I should probably turn. This process is very difficult. Let's see if I can show you guys this process. Oh yeah, tacking. I guess I did kind of make it look a little easy, didn't I? That was probably one of the easiest ones I've had to do so far. But, uh, all in all, not too shabby. Um, yeah. The wind is a lot heavier, or a lot, not heavier, a lot, uh, harder than I thought it was. Yesterday it said it was going to be, like, 5 to 10 knots, and it is, like, 10 with gusts of 15. So, um little more than I bargained for but she seems to be holding up just fine so yeah I'll catch you guys in a little bit hey guys we are well into the day now I have <coughs> excuse me I picked up uh, my dad again we went out for a little bit with uh, one of our friends and Sif came out again but sorry I didn't get the, get her on camera um, so that was fun. Dropped them back off already. I had, a I had a nice talk with an old man sitting in North Shore. He was a very nice guy. Um, had a long, it was probably like an hour conversation with him just about the boat and life. And it was cool. I like meeting people. Don't know his name. That's okay. Um, so yeah, back out alone. I think I've been out for like maybe an hour again. Well, probably like half an hour. Um, came back by, uh, came back through the uh, no wake zone by Cranberry Bog again. Heading back in, gonna pick somebody else up in about 45 minutes. <coughs> Give them a ride. They like it when I talk about sailboats. So, uh, yeah, Ooh. getting some good leaning. There have been some pretty good gusts today. Um, uh, 
I'm keeping the phone as level as I can. And look at the lean on this thing. And this isn't as far over as I've had as I've, 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 as I have had it today. Having loads of fun. And I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a very loud humming noise coming from below deck, and that is the keel. And the keel is vibrating a lot down there. <coughs> but yeah, she's doing great, making up some good time. Honestly, pretty quick. I want to get the tiller lock set up again, but I don't know if I can, so I can eat snacks while I'm sailing. Because I'm hungry. I had breakfast, and that's about it. And it is almost four no it is four yeah it's four in the afternoon i have not had lunch i'm hungry thought about stopping for food but i uh i don't have money not that i don't have money i just don't have my wallet which was kind of dumb i probably should have asked my dad to bring it out the second time he was out but yeah whatever i love this boat i am so happy with it my hair isn't, but, you know, what's new? <laughs> so yeah, heading back to North Shore again for like the fifth time. It's been 12 hours since I put the boat in, so it is 9 o'clock. Well, 9.15-ish. <coughs> I am really tired, and I have to wait on my dad for another like half an hour to get out of school so he can come get my boat. So I'm laying here. I'm docked, by the way. I'm not I'm not just laying in the middle of the lake. I'm docked, but <coughs> just laying here is kind of awkward, I guess. And it's kind of starting to sprinkle. So there's that. Uh, but to recap the day, I started at, again, 9 o'clock with my dad and Sif. And we sailed for about an hour. And then I dropped them off back at the dock. And then um, I sailed by myself for about probably three hours. And then dad came back with one of our family friends. I went out with them and the dog again. Because the dog goes with us everywhere. <coughs> and went out with them for about an hour. Dropped them back off here. And I went out for another three hours. We're up to about eight hours now. And then I came back and picked up one of my friends. Took her out for about three hours. And then I came back here for the fourth time. Fifth, for the fifth time. And we were about to go get ice cream. And there was this lady sitting in a lawn chair eating donatos with a couple of friends. <coughs> I didn't think too much of it. I'm getting the light there. And then um, the way she started talking kind of um, threw me for a loop. I thought at first she might have been drunk. I look around, didn't see any alcohol. Then I thought she might have been high. I didn't smell any weed. And then it dawned on me. She's probably on crack. So then I took her for a ride on the boat for about 10 minutes. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting thing, but, you know, I wanted to make her day regardless. She's still a person, whether she's high on crack or not. So, I made her day. Doesn't matter to me. I didn't get stabbed, so, you know, whatever. So yeah, now we're sitting in the middle of the lake. Well, not in the middle of the lake, but in the dark, waiting on my trailer to show up. All in all, today was a very fun day. 12 whole hours of sailboating. And my opinion on sailing has not changed one bit. And if anything, it has strengthened I thought maybe having an entire day of doing this, I might get a little tired of it, but not one bit. This is a lot of fun, and I want to 
maybe do a couple weekend trips here soon once I get cushions because I <coughs> there ain't no way <coughs> I'm doing a camping trip without cushions um, but yeah all in all good day very good day so uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it for this video um, I've got a lot of footage over the past couple of days that I need to get uploaded well edited ed edited um, so yeah I think that's it for this video um, I will I will be doing uh, a couple more projects on this boat that I will be uh, keeping you guys updated on so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video